Yo, what's up guys? Chase the Bro here, and welcome back to another Dark Souls 3 build video. Today I'm going to be invading with my one-shot build, so let's get to it. Hey man, you kind of got here early. I'm not ready yet. If you just be an honorable man and just sit there and let me kill myself. Look at him, he's probably confused. Don't worry, I'm almost done. Just gotta use the sunlight sword buff. And then drink some mana quick. Uh, oops. Drink mana. And then lightning blade. Alright, man. We're ready. Thank you. Thank you for being honorable, though. I just wanted to de-shield him, maybe. Um, I'm just going for it. Oh, there's no way. Oh, man. He's probably so surprised. I'd be so annoyed. Slow down, man. I've been following you for so long. How have you not noticed me? Come back here. My buffs are gonna run out, man. Come on. Ah, the sunlight buff did run out. It's okay, whenever I get close to you, your time will come. Oh, now? No. Man, he's making a run for it. Okay. Well, now I'm gonna use this opportunity to buff. Where'd he go? Okay. As long as he's still in the vicinity, I'm okay. Need mana, god damn it. And lightning blade. Yes, okay. Now quick, quick, go. Run faster, bro. No perfect timing. Yeah, no, oh yes, yes. Oh my god, on the backswing, no way. Yes. The secret to success with this build is playing unnoticed until the last moment. So I always try to lurk. Damn it. I always forget how little mana I have. Okay. I'm coming in for a landing, guys. Let's go. Where'd they go? Oh, okay. They're down one level. I thought they were right there. There they are. I'm getting at least one of you. I don't care which. You, sir, are my target. And it's over. Yeah. Here I come, bro. Uh, what? Dude, where'd he go? I just saw his health bar. He was standing right there. I don't get it. Maybe behind the bookshelf? No, ah, uh, oh dude, don't die before I can kill you, come on. Drink, you need to see the power of my, yes, okay. And boom, yes. Oh my God, guys, this, this build is the best. I've never had like a one shot like this. I saw a couple health bars down there, so I'm not sure how many of you there are, but I gotta take the plunge eventually, so let's go. Please don't notice me. Yes! They're busy. Oh, the host! Yes, you can't dodge this! Nice, yes. Wait. No, he had tears of denial. No! Aw, oh, I'm dead. Aw. Oh. That still counts, man. That was all his health. Yes, it's a fight club. This is literally the prime place to invade with this build. They'll trust you as you walk down there and it'll be perfect. Just gotta get all my buffs off before someone notices me. Okay, here we go. Hey guys, I want a PvP. Just let me just buff. And, oh hey, what's going on? Oh, they don't notice me! Oh, yes. The other guy is just like, what the hell, man? What the hell? I'm just going to go for an R1 and see if I can take him out. Oh, oh, yeah. Okay, so two shots with R1s too. So regardless, this is a good build for PvP as long as you don't get hit. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm going to show you the stats now. So the first and the most important thing that you're going to need to notice is that I have 60 faith. And that's simply because it's the hard cap for the spell buff for Lightning Blade. So that's how you're going to get the most damage out of Lightning Blade. The next thing you're going to need is a minimum of 16 strength, because the Lothar Greatsword has a requirement of 24 strength, but you're going to be two-handing it so you can get away with having 16 strength. And the reason that I chose to have 16 strength instead of the 24 requirement is because I get more damage per point out of Dexterity, so I shove the points that would normally be in strength into the Dexterity. And the rest of my stat points are all base stats, guys, so you don't need to worry about them at all. You just need to shove all your points into Dexterity after that. 
And the reason for that is I'm using a sharp Lothric greatsword, which has an A scaling and dexterity, and even at 71 dexterity, I'm still getting 3 points of damage per 1 point of dex, and it's amazing. So really all you need to take away from the stat layout guys is you need 60 faith, and you need the minimum 16 strength, and other than that the rest of your points are being poured into dexterity. Now moving on to the equipment because it's pretty important for this build. Like I said you're going to need the sharp Lothar greatsword, and that's what the build is centered around entirely, so that is the only way I know how to make this build work. The sword itself has pretty decent lightning damage and pretty amazing physical damage. So when you add into the lightning blade and all the buffs that are going to be added to it, this sword becomes pretty overpowered. I'm also using the bloodlust because my build is centered around having critical health, so the bloodlust weapon art helps me get to that point. I am also using the sunlight straight sword, strictly for its weapon art though because the oath of sunlight buffs your AR even further. And in my left hand as a chime I'm using the Yorshka's chime because it has the highest spell buff and that is what you need to get the most damage out of this build. You are also going to need the Marine Blade, again because when your health is in that low percent range it boosts your AR even further. Just make sure that after you've applied all the buffs that this weapon is in your left hand, even though you're two handing your weapon it still gives you the effects. And I am not wearing any armor because I'm in my dragon form so it doesn't allow me to have any armor equipped. Again I'm wearing the red tearstone ring because it boosts my AR by 20% when my health is in the 20% range. I am also wearing the lightning clutch ring because a lot of the damage that this build does is lightning damage and this increases it even further. Now because I don't have any attunement, I didn't have the one spell slot I needed for the lightning blade buff, so I have to wear the dark moon ring. Which is a fair trade for those 4 points, I didn't think of any other ring that could have helped me out so this was fine for me. And the final ring I'm wearing is the prisoner's chain, simply because I wanted a little bit more endurance and this provided that. And the final item that you need is the twinkling dragon torso stone, because when you use the torso stone, it buffs your AR even further. Alright guys, I'm going to show you exactly how I prepare this build now. So the first thing you're going to need to do is to get your health into the critical range, which takes exactly 4 stabs at the bloodlust while in dragon form. And after you've gotten your health into the critical range, you're going to want to pull out the sunlight blade and use its weapon art buff. Once that's applied, you're going to want to switch to your Lothar Greatsword and apply the Lightning Blade buff. And from here, the final thing you need to do is just use the Dragon Torso Stone. And once you do that, you're fully upgraded and your AR is at 1742. There you have it guys, that's your one shot build. If you guys enjoyed the video, then like the video please, it really helps out my channel. And if you're just tuning in now, subscribe for some more Dark Souls 3 content. As always guys, thanks for watching. Chase the bro out.